Hey guys, this is Austin Gibson from Velocity Technology. I'm going to be showing you a cool little process monitor trick. As you can see here, you can get it from www.sysinternals.com. Alright, so this is our little default view. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's a crazy amount of information and to look through that would be very time consuming. So I'm going to show you a quick little few methods that we can do to filter. Alright, so you can go up here, you can click filter or just click this little guy, you can hit control L. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go category is right. And this will cover all the changes made to the system. Oops. Yes, add, apply. Okay. So, as you can see here, this is some of the stuff that's being written, changed, and all that. There's a lot of information in here still, so... But if you want to look at something specifically, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to reset our filter. And I'm going to go back to our filter. Or sorry, our process tree. Here we go. Now, this is where we might uh, look a little bit uh, difficult. It might look a little bit daunting to some people as well, but you just look here for your process and we know that the CMD is cmd.exe. You can see here, cmd.exe right here. Alright. So we're just going to click include subtree. Alright, while that's waiting, we're just going to... Alright, here we go. Here's what uh, cmd.exe is doing. If we want, we can also filter it again by category right. Okay. Yes. As you can see, this is a uh, stuff that's writing. It made something called a reset log.txt. Now, what could that be, you're asking? Well, copy con reset log.txt. Hello. Control Z. There we go. As you can see, we made reset log.txt. Now, if you want, you can always go and you can investigate this further. You have options to take a look at the properties. You can go through here, process, stack. Let's see what it's doing here. Go through the stack if you want. Right click. You can also just jump right to the uh, file right here. There you go. And then, oops, there we go. If you want, you can highlight it, you can include, you can go look at your filters and you can change your filters a little bit more. You have a lot of options. You can also search online if you think it's malicious and you need help. You don't know if it's malicious, but uh, there you go. And see what cmd.exe is. Ah, it's not that bad. It's a thing that you can type stuff into. There we go. We determined that cmd.exe is not malicious, of course. But uh, this is just an example. We know CMD is not malicious, but uh, if you ever are curious about whether or not a particular process is malicious, this little method is great. It will give you a, it'll give you some basic information and it will tell you what exactly the process is doing on your system. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope that this helped you out, and I will see you guys later. Bye.